Hello and welcome to another video of Learn SQL. And in today's video, we will continue to learn the Windows function. And today we will try to look at lag, lead, first value, and last value. Uh, what are the functions supported from these things, and how can we use them uh, in our analysis? So let's jump onto the SQL Server Management Studio. I have already started the SQL Server, and I already started SQL Server Management Studio, and I am going to open this. Uh, uh, learn sql database there i'm going to right click and say new query those of you who are watching this video first time you have to actually go and look at the series first few videos so that you will be able to know how we have created this learn sql video how we are starting our sql server uh, and how we are opening management studio and what are the table structure and everything we have created using of the upload data you will also get the link of the file there now we have the files we have uh, uh, the data loaded we have everything all set and now we would like to explore with lead and, lead and lag function so we would like to know how can it help us so let's start with a very simple select statement select order underscore number comma quantity from sales so my sales table has order number and quantity i'm just starting with that and you can see i can see the order number and I can actually sort it on the order number. Now I would like to know what was my previous order number or maybe a better case is let's say date. Okay. So let's say I have sales date and I can say sum of quantity. group by sales date order by also sales date now here you might like to see what is my previous days quantity that's something we do isn't it how i have done on the previous day very natural question we might have so how can we get it so lag function or lead function can help us out so let's try to get that lead function and lag function here so let's say lag okay and in the lag let's say what do you want to lag basically quantity and then we have to say order by how do i order by order we have to say over order by Fine. So let us see, can we give some here? Okay. So fine. Let us see what happens here. Now, what you are seeing here is basically we said sum of quantity lag, sum of lag, sum of quantity order by sales date. So what we are saying, give us the lag sum of quantity because it's a group by that's why I have to use. Otherwise you have to write down a sub query like we have done in the first video when we have told you some over there. We have not told you how to, you know, push the thing inside the uh, windows function there. We have told you, you know, to write down a sub query. Now we are telling you the another way. Now what is happening? Select sales date, sum of quantity. That's what we were doing. Now we have said lag sum of quantity order by sales date. So previous days is the lag lag one minus lag we are looking at here so we are saying lag so now same way so now we are doing lag we can also do lead operation so what we are saying, going to say instead of lag we would say lead so what we are saying here now is lead operation so what you will see is this is my next day's quantity isn't it this is my next day's quantity. So we know lead, we know lag. So we can go previous row, first row. So I can calculate now day over day. Same way I can also have quarter over quarter, month over month, all these things, isn't it? And I should be able to do those calculations. So month over month and all those. Now let's try, can we do it by month? So 
because month we don't have so what we are going to do is let's create month so what month is basically i can say year i am going to simply create a very simple stuff year start 100 plus month number that is the way i wanted to create and then i am going to say order by also like this one group by i also like this statement and now I need to do little bit modification here order by also I need to give this expression. So now let's look at it what is happening here is basically. So now you can see in the fourth month this was the quantity. Now I am getting the lead, next month's quantity. Let me also get the previous month's quantity with this. And why don't I rename it so let me call it next underscore month. And then we give me comma put these things and let me call us previous underscore month and why don't I let me change it also to lag okay double comma we remove it everything is fine so now what we have the previous month quantity the next month quantity so this month quantity the next month quantity the previous month quantity everything coming together here and we are now can calculate month over month same way you can go for quarter over quarter year over year and all those now only thing we have to make sure that you know uh, when we are doing this lead and lag and the order by the order by is really important now here the way we have created month here is the, it's a sortable now if you say jan feb march the jan feb march as a text is not sortable so you may would, would like to have that into your group buys and let me call it as a month year here uh, so that you understand this is a month year This one so you may like to have this month here as a formatted text but definitely when you are going to do this lead lag operation you might would like to have them as the you might like to have them as the sortable one so now we are done with the we got our uh, you know what we call is basically the next month, the previous one, the next day, the previous day, next year, previous year, we can get next category, previous category, next brand, previous brand, all those we can get. Okay, previous row, basically order number, previous order number, what is the quantity, the same customer, previous date. Now this is something, you know, you might come across. So this is a really common case. What, and you may be asked, you know, sometime it happens for the same customer, what was the previous one? previous date what I what was the quote or the previous quantity this customer has created and sometime for the same item the previous uh, you know uh, this one what they have done it so maybe I would like to know the date which which you know the customer has purchased so in the sales if you look at the sales table so we have select customer select from sales And in sales, we have customer ID and we have quantity. And definitely we should have a date, isn't it? Sales date. Now in the way our data is right now is basically these things are unique. So I can order by this. If you need, you can group by also. And let them be ascending only. So you can see a quantity 211. Now I want to know what was the last date or I might like to see what is the quantity I sold in the last days. Typically we look for the prices. Now in case of prices there would be a variation of item means I, you would like to have item here. But right now because we don't have item so we just wanted to know what is the previous date or the previous quantity something I would like to know. Okay. So now let's look at it. Now let's copy this query, paste it here. So now what we need is basically we need lead or lag. So let's, we need lag here. Lag what we need? We need the quantity on the lag. How do we need? We need order by over. First of all, we need to partition it. Partition by customer ID, isn't it? And then we need to say order by sales date. Now, unless I close it, you might not get the correct one. Now, let us see. There is no comma required here. And we'll call it last 
qty isn't it last quantity let us see okay customer id okay so you can see the last quantity i would like to like to know last date so let's do this let's duplicate this and also create one more so now we know the last quantity what we got now also low so last price you wanted to know okay so same way i customer and item or maybe only item okay that could be the means whatever what is the last selling price of this item maybe i wanted to offer the same now here we will do is lag sales date isn't it only the sales sales date that is inside the customer last sales date i wanted to know so last not last quantity it is last date so let us see are will we be able to get it this one or not so now you can see on this 7th of on the july 5th you are working at the you have sold the quantity 2 and this one now we do have a price isn't it so let's do instead of quantity let's let's also get a price let's add it here okay rest is going to remain same so at what price we also sold so now we know the price also okay so now we we know the complete picture now we have two more operation if you have seen first value last value first of all let's try out that does that work and how does it work so let's take a simpler query isn't it let's start with this one let's say so instead of this one lag we let's say so we are saying first underscore value let's see is it going to be first value first underscore value and we will try this out so why it is coming 42 42 42 42 42 42 so in the over right now there is no partitioning it means it has to go complete table so when you give something in over means complete look at the complete result then you have to set the partition if you don't do partitioning it is going to look at the complete window or the complete result window now the window can be further divided into by partitions okay so what we are getting here is basically we are getting the first dates quantity okay so what we are getting here the first sales date in our data whatever is the first sales date i am getting the quantity of that first sales date isn't it okay now we can call it first qty same way i can also get the last quantity isn't it so let's copy this and we'll say last value and we'll get the last quantity last quantity in our window which is order by sales date group so order by is decided by this one so order by we can say ascending and descending that we can decide but in the window which is grouped by sales date we are trying to find out all these things now we got the first quantity and the last quantity so now why the last quantity is also coming as 42 let's see what is the last quantity so basically what we are observing here is that this last value is not correct now the, the reason last value is not correct is basically what happens in such cases is basically the default way of accessing a row is basically range between unbounded preceding and the current row means so what is happening you are not getting the following row because you have used the order by clause so what we have to do here is we have to write down here rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following once you write that and you run this query now you will see this is coming 10 10 10 10 10 10 now once it is started coming 10 10 10 10 you will go scroll down and look this last quantity is basically 10 and that is the reason why it was you know the first time when we executed it is not coming so that we have to see now you might want it to know okay now we have done this now uh, one more query you might have okay in a given month what is my value for the first day the beginning of this and that one so what we have done if you remember previously we have used this year and month formula for month here so i would like to bring in this also so i want to like to bring this and i want to like to have the in this one i would like to have a month here group by also month here 
Now, sorting, I think I can live with the uh, date. Let's see, can we live with the date in the sorting? Do we really need month here, there? I think we can live with the. Now you can see still the first and last quantity has no difference. So now let's create a double copy of this. And let's add one more variety here. First quantity underscore month. And last quantity underscore month. So what we want is basically the first quantity underscore month and the last quantity underscore month. Now a comma is missing here. That's why it is giving error. So let's put a comma now it's starting. So what we need to add partition by. And for the partition by we also need this expression. See we are writing down certain complex things you should remember here. And the things will get more and more complex as you progress with this series. Now you are seeing how complex we are writing in the partition by. And same thing we have done in the previous few queries also. Now let us see is it working fine or not. So in the month of April you see 42 is minimum and 86 is in the last day. So not its min max is the first value and the last value. So 42 and 86. Now if you see in the 2 20 18 0 5 you see uh, 110 is the first value and if you scroll down you will see a last value also and the last value uh, is 97 if I am correct and it is coming as 97 and so on keep on going. So now you know how to get first value last value how to get it in within month so you can do that for state you can do that for city country any combination which you want. So really powerful function uh, these windows functions sum over we have experimented with you know subtotals totals subtotals then we went ahead and you know look at the ranking uh, we wanted to now we have come across where we know the previous row we know the next row we know the previous and next within a partition and then we are also able to know the first value and the last value so really helpful function they can help you in bringing lot many stuff which you wanted so go ahead and try these things out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Hello and welcome to another video of learn SQL and in today's video we will continue to learn the windows function and today we will try to look at